Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Foundation. And looky, looky here. Bad weather once again. Didn't didn't we just get through bad weather? Didn't isn't that what just caused us to have this super huge like negative thing put upon us? Uh, yeah, I think it was. I really think it was. Um, <sighs> berries, wheat, and grapes. Fish is increased, but berry, wheat, and grapes are down. Okay, so I was really, really, really hoping that we were going to have a little bit more time in between all this. Uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, send your soldiers success probability is average. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring them back. So, I wonder who that was. Your soldiers are back from the mission, so what do we get? That was Reinhard by himself, I think. Yeah, okay, so one guy by himself can't tank the mission. He can tank the easy first mission, but he's not going to be able to tank all of them. So, yeah, I was I was just about to see what we had. Yeah, he's coming back. Okay, well, that is a little bit disappointing. And that is a little bit loud. Yeah, new military mission is available. So what do I get for that mission? Do I not get anything? Because, oh no, here we are. We've got 488 gold. We've got 23 bread. And we've got two tools. So that wasn't too bad of a thing. I mean... If we absolutely needed to, we could send one person out, let them do a mission. Uh, and that's, that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is because one person couldn't handle it. I'm going to go into here. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave. Get out of here. I don't want you. <laughs> don't need you. All right. Prepare my troops. Okay, so we've got Reinhard is fully trained. Let's send Reinhard 193 and 812. Let's see, 193 and 812. Okay, I'm going to send those three on that same mission. So, let's see, that gives me with how many, how many are left? Uh, let's see, 645, that's one, 14, oh, so that's only two. So, yeah, technically, I could send out another two. Eh. Okay, so we'll wait. We will wait. Yeah, 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 there's always a villager leaving due to unhappiness. I know, there's peoples, there's problems. You know what? It's a builder. I'm not really concerned over the builder. Well, yeah, not the fisher hut. I am concerned over that. Put another fisher in. My fisherman needs to be happy. Uh, yeah, I need another forager. Y'all can't. Oh, really? See, this is why I'm not getting berries. The people that are leaving are the people that I need. The people that I don't really care about leaving, they're just staying. <laughs> yeah, they're, I'm like that. There are people I don't care about. I'm like, yeah, all this stone, I don't need all that stone. And yes, I know, I could rearrange people and all that, but I'm trying not to do that if I can avoid it. And you know what's probably going to end up happening is... <clears throat> for every person I lose, it's probably a commoner I'm losing, and then I'm probably going to gain back a surf. So, yeah, it should be okay. It should equal itself out at some point. Okay, so y'all are wanting fish, and you're wanting it 200 gold. Uh, that's so hard to decide on. I guess, I guess we'll, we'll do the fish. Yeah. 
We shall see. We shall see. We should be able to do the fish here pretty soon, though. I mean, we do have extra fish, right? I mean, 20%, right? <clears throat> yeah, see, we've got 91. Let's just stockpile it. I know that's probably going to hurt us. Let's just stockpile it, see what happens. So, once again, I'm a little bit confused because from what I've read, when you click the stockpile button and it goes yellow, they're not supposed to get rid of any fish. They're not supposed to sell it. They're not supposed to trade it. They're not supposed to do anything with it. Yet, the second I clicked it, my numbers started going down. And see, my numbers are still fluctuating. It's like they don't care. See... I think there's some issues with the game and how some of their their systems work. Yeah, I really do. I really do think some of them are a little bit broken and that might be why we're having problems is either the systems aren't working right or I'm not understanding how the systems work or the people that I'm reading tell me about the issues and things that they do are wrong. Somebody's wrong. I don't know who it is. I know who it is. It's the game from putting another storm back to back like that. That's horrible. That's how, That's who's wrong. That is who is wrong. You know, at least the amount of people who needed food has gone down. I mean, even though we're in the middle of a thing, it has gone down. Yeah, we're still good. Go ahead and send them. Okay, so one cannot do it. Three can do the second mission. We'll see if three is enough to do the last mission. I'm kind of thinking that it's one of those... The first mission, you get wounded. The second mission, you get a wounded. And the third mission, you get a wounded. So I'm thinking you have to have a minimum of three in order to do a mission. Maybe. At least that's what I'm hoping for. That, and I'll keep waiting for them to, like, upgrade themselves to knights. But I don't see, I don't see anyone upgrading themselves. I mean, I don't... I don't know if that's a thing or, like, if, you know, what the deal is. Because, I mean, we've got everyone maxed out at level 6. No one's going beyond level 6, no matter how many times I've sent them out. And I don't know why I have a level 1 soldier down here, but we do, for whatever reason. I guess we must have lost one. Hold on. Let me look at battle history. Have we lost anybody? None, 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 none none and none still none so I have never lost a soldier but yet I have a level one soldier for whatever reason that makes absolute absolutely no sense Okay, and there is no soldier leveling there either. Hold on. Haha. <laughs> it jumped up just in time for me to catch it. I wish I would have caught it when it was at 100, but... There we go. Alright, all of them are leveled up now. That should be good. Okay, so how are we doing on resources? Uh, horrible on berries. Horrible on bread. Horrible on milk. 
Horrible on cheese. Boars is horrible. 94 wheat. So we're actually getting a little bit of wheat built up now. So that is roughly three wheat to one flour. I don't know what the flour to bread ratio is. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, no, that's a tailor. You're, no, that you're a house. Where's the baker? Here? Ha ha. So it's one flour to one water equals one bread. So yeah, it's one flour, one water is bread. I wonder if I had probability is high. So three cannot do it by themselves. So it, it would probably take four. Alright, go ahead and bring them back. Well, we learned something today. Yeah, we have most definitely learned something today. So, the five I was sending out was probably <clears throat> either the correct number or it was one overkill. One of the two. Uh, so anyway, what I was thinking is, I wonder if I put in a well over here, if that would help out the baker having water like right in front of him. I mean, I know there's a well right there, but maybe... I don't know. This could be like completely, totally horrible. I don't. I don't know. I guess I should have put it right here. But, oh well, we put it right there. Either way, it's a shorter distance. Oh, I hate that clockwork sound noise. I wish I could turn that down. So loud. So annoying. Okay, so did we ever get our money? I don't know if we ever got our money or not. You were not worthy of being here anyway. Bye. Yeah, okay. Well, it is what it is. I still think we could have survived off the military missions if we wouldn't have had the bad weather. I think it would have... If we could have held out, like, another five, six months before the thing happened, I bet we could have... Could have got out of this hole a little bit. I mean, we're down to 23 people. Everybody wants food. Never better not be knowing. Oh, there are people thirsty. Y'all go drink. <laughs> Y'all quit being thirsty. Y'all go get some water. It's raining. I mean, come on. Look up and open your mouth. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This one's not looking good. I keep waiting for, like, the number to hit zero. I wonder if it hits zero if we, like, lose the game or something. I don't know. I do know it's being difficult, though. So many foragers.
Oh, yes, please leave my good stall so that I know which one is which. And, yeah. And my hunter's hut. That's always a good one. Ah, we don't have people. Okay. You know, I was going to try to see if we could survive the storm using gold, but our military missions kind of puttered out there, and yeah, we just, we don't have, we don't have a gold supply. Ah, so frustrating. Oh, I'm sure there is a new military mission. I'm going to let all my dudes train up. Actually, I got enough. One, two, three, four, five. I have enough. I'm going to do one of the easy missions. Alright, who do we got? We've got 531, 193, and 812. 531. Okay. Starting to remember 193 and 812. I don't know why, but those numbers have stuck. Uh, 645... And the last one is fourteen fifty five. All right, send them out. At least this way I can get one good set of money back. Y'all better want wood or something. Nope. Not even gonna not even going to attempt to even recognize that you came to my doorstep demanding bread in the middle of like a hurricane when y'all know that the bread is the struggle. Y'all could be asking me for wood, for stone, for planks, for anything. But no, you want my bread. You want to make my people starve. Well, that is a big negative game. A super big negative. Alright, I'm actually considering doing something a little bit crazy here. And I'm thinking about taking off all of the... Uh, all of the tarps or all of these little tent pieces off of the things. Cause I mean, it's like, look, 10 gold a week. Yeah. Let's, let's remove this. Oh, y'all are going to make this difficult, huh? I mean, I know it gives me splendor, but I've got a lower cost. I mean, even if that only lowers it by, like, what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, that should still help some. All right, let me do it with just one marketplace, and let's see, let's see if we can't start turning our money situation around. I mean, we're at plus 41 right now, so... Maybe. Thinking about dropping some more fishermen in. 
How much does it cost to maintain a fisher's hut? 20? Yeah. I don't know. Alright, let me do it to this marketplace too. Green tent, gone. Goodbye, red tent. Goodbye, other red tent. Goodbye, green tent. Goodbye, red tent. Goodbye, blue tent. Okay, so now it says we're up to plus 59. We're still not making any money, but... We're not really losing money. I mean, there are moments that we're hitting zero, but let me look at the budget here. Yeah, I mean, maintenance is still kind of high. Hmm. All right, I'm going to remove all the tents and we're going to see if we can't can't switch this up. This is just a little thought process experiment. We're going to we're going to see what happens here. Okay, we've got all those. See, now it's saying we're at plus 82 and we're actually bringing in money. So, yeah, I think that's... I think that was one of the big things is all these, t uh, all these tents. I mean... So, I wonder... If I just go ahead and we eliminate... We're going to eliminate all these tents. Okay, let that run for a moment. And we actually hit zero. Even though I remove all those tents, we still hit zero. Uh, let's see, budget. Yeah, we're a little bit off on our budget there. Territory taxes are kind of high. So yeah, we were about a thousand, about a thousand down. You know, I'm surprised we don't actually run like a negative or something. Well, either way, we're going to try this. Like I said, this is one way to reduce the amount of money that we spend. So, and technically that's like a couple hundred in maintenance right there for stuff that I really don't need. No, we dropped down to 19. Just charge. Charge them.
map, it's still still not getting there. Still not getting there. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is one of those I'm a little bit confused. I mean, I understand we're like still off on the budget by a couple hundred. I just don't know what what else I can cut to bring in extra money. I mean, I can't get rid of like wells because we have people that are thirsty. I can't get rid of the church because there are people that are needing it. Uh, I wonder, just out of curiosity, the core costs 39 here. The core costs 82 here. Well, yeah, I guess I could take down some of the archers and stuff. I don't know if that would really, I mean, uh, so frustrating, so frustrating. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm wondering if the game's not quite ready for everything to like happen because like there should have been a penalty for how many times I've ran over budget and negative and all that. So, I mean, look at that. We're down to 16. Wow, that's pretty low. Oh, yay, the bad weather has has stopped. All right, guys, so I think this is the plan. I'm going to let it run, uh, and we're going to try to see if we can't pull ourselves out of this hole. And if we hit another bad storm before my dudes are like at 80% happy, then I think we're going to go ahead and just call the series good there. And we'll wait for some updates to come out. And then we will revisit the game once the updates have come out. Because, yeah, I figured I figured there's a couple things that I'm either missing or that the game's missing and needs a little refinement. And, yeah, I mean, we've we still got people getting stuck. I'm sure that's upsetting people. I'm sure that's part of the reason why some of these people are leaving. And I really don't think that's on me or my placement. I think that's on the game's AI. So, yeah, we're we're going to wait. We're going to see what happens. Um, obviously, our money's kind of come back right now. Of course, we just got the soldiers back, too. So, yeah, that's one of those things. We'll see. We'll see what we can do over the next couple of videos, and then we'll make a decision then. But I do feel like we are getting close to the end of this run. So I just want to give everybody the heads up on that. So, I mean, it's not bad. By no means is it bad. I mean, I've had a lot of fun with the game. We've got up to 310 people, so we got a you know pretty good deal. And I'm sure there are ways that you could go, and I'm sure there are people that have figured it out. That I could, you know, pull it out and keep going and micromanage it. But, yeah, I'm, I don't think that's going to be me. I don't think that's going to be me. <laughs> but, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.